Whether you're using Lightroom or Photoshop, Camera Raw is one of the most important things that you should learn. Here's two early access tools, Lens Blur and Generative Remove. Let's check them out. All right, here we go. Here's a picture I took of myself. I like the picture, but there's some things I don't like about it. And I usually do all my work in Camera Raw with this kind of thing. So first thing we're gonna do, let's go up here and check out Remove. It's an early access tool. And I got Use Generative AI checked. First thing I'm gonna do, zoom in. Let's get rid of some of these blemishes and things. Use the crosshairs and just kind of make it a little bit bigger than the things that you want to remove from the pick. All right. Now you can add or subtract by your selections. Let's hit apply. It's going to do its thing. And everything's gone that I wanted. Now, don't forget, you get three variations, or you can hit refresh and see if you can get three more. So let's check out one, check out two, check out three. I'm gonna stick with one, there's not much difference in it. Let's zoom out. Probably best to zoom out and have a look, see what's going on. You can hit the Q key to find out which one. Keep hitting the Q key to see your before and after. Before, after. Looks good to me. This is a great tool to be having in here. Now I can go about doing the rest of the stuff that I want to do to the picture. Generative remove in camera raw. Very cool. Now in this second picture, I took a picture of my car and I don't like all these cracks and the water drips and stuff here in the driveway. So let's see if the remove can remove them for me. So let's zoom in a bit. And let's use the crosshairs and make it just a little bit larger than it needs to be. Let's hit apply. Once again, it'll do its thing. And bam, everything's gone. All the distractions that I didn't want are gone. Okay, let's zoom out. Variations one, two, or three, there's not much difference between them. So I'm just gonna stick with one. There we go. Remove does it again in Camera Raw. I'm loving this addition. All right, let's check out the second early access tool, which is Lens Blur. I'm loving this one. I've been using this one for quite a while and I just love it. So let's go down right here to Lens Blur and hit apply. It'll take a sec to do its thing. You can see by here it's working and it's done. And the background has been completely blurred out perfectly, just the way I like it. Now, if you want, you can do more or less or throw some bokeh in there if you want. The thing I want to point out that's really cool in here is to visualize the depth and the focus range. Because up here, it removed all my little hairs on my head here. So what we'll do is we'll hit focus. We'll zoom in, and I've got my feather down to zero, brush size at four, flow at 100, and I'm just gonna go along my head. And look at this, look at this. It's putting all my little hairs back that I want. That's incredible. Let's zoom out, and now they're back. And yet everything is still blurred. This is very cool. Remember, you can focus and blur. The refinement is amazing. Now, in my second example here with my car, I want to blur the background. Let's see what lens blur does. And yes, it did blur the background. The car's starting to stand out really cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it about 75. Let's see what that does. That's looking really good. Now, once again, you can refine it if you want. Or let's boost the bokeh. Let's see what happens if we go to 100. Let's check out what they look like. Now, I don't think it's necessary for this picture, but you never know when you're taking your picture what you're going to have. And now my car is standing out and looking good. I'm loving these two new early access tools. This is amazing, these two new early access tools in camera. Been waiting for something like this. I can't believe how much it's going to help my workflow and probably help yours as well. 
getting portraits done or whatever you do. If you got anything out of this video and camera on or early access tools, please like and subscribe and make sure you leave your comments below. I'm done from 40911. See ya.